Chelsea Amaze, aka Chelsea Kawhi on Instagram, is one of my favorite photographers. She's a travel adventure photographer, she has over 10 years of experience and over a million followers on Instagram, and she's been dubbed by some as the queen of adventure photography, which I happen to agree with. <laughs> Whenever I'm scrolling down my grid on Instagram and one of her photos pops up, I'm always like, ah, I wish I could shoot like that. And then the thought occurred to me, why don't I give it a try? So today's video is gonna be dedicated to trying to shoot like Chelsea Kawhi. But the first thing to do is to have a look at some of her photos and to analyze her style a bit so I know what to look for when I'm out shooting. So taking a look at some of Chelsea's photos, we can see that the compositions tend to be centrally framed. And if for some reason it's not centrally framed, it's usually using the rule of thirds. In terms of camera angle and height, the candid shots are usually sort of eye level, helps us to feel like we're actually there inside of the scene or we're looking at a higher angle if it's one of those sort of model inside of landscape shots. That way you can see the landscape over the model. The lighting seems to be entirely natural, shooting at golden hour using the sun for that nice warm light. And it seems to be using a lot of side lighting and also backlighting as well. A quick edit like Chelsea tutorial. So if we take a look at some of Chelsea's photos, you can see that the exposure levels are pretty soft. So we can see a lot of the shadows, they're not particularly crushed. The blacks are even raised for the most part and the highlights are well exposed, not blown out. There's a bit of an exception to that when we get to those sort of blue hour shots. You can crush the shadows a little bit more in those shots. Skin tones seem pretty accurate and they're not overly saturated either. She also tends to saturate more of those tropical colors like the oranges and the blues and desaturate the greens a little bit. And of course, just add green makes everything look way more cinematic and way cooler. There's a lot of green inside of Chelsea's photos so we gotta make sure we add that as well. So I planned out a little shoot. I got my friend Bella to come along and be my model. We went to the beach because I noticed that a lot of Chelsea's photos are centered around the beach. So we used that as our subject matter. We took along a little mood board of some of Chelsea's photos for some posing inspiration. We had a bit of a chat about wardrobe beforehand as well to make sure we picked some colors that were gonna complement the environment nicely, like Chelsea's wardrobe seems to. Jokes, <laughs> the shoot actually happened like a month ago, but it's taken me a while to make this video. So throw back to a month ago, let's go. So for the first shot, I was using this one of Chelsea's photos as inspiration. I directed Bella to do a swaying motion where she crosses one foot over the other and then raises one arm and looks the opposite way. For the edit, I just adjusted the temperature and the tint sliders a bit just to pull out more of the blue hour colors. And I actually crushed the shadows a bit more than normal because this shot was taken at blue hour and Chelsea likes to crush the shadows in her blue hour shots a bit more than normal. I then used some graduated filters just to darken the top of the sky and slap some grain over the entire thing. Here's the final photo. Next, I took some inspiration from this photo. I got Bella to walk down the beach, looking at the ground as she walked and just letting her hair blow in the wind. For the edit, I brightened up the sky a bit and then used a radial filter to add some exposure and some haze to the top left where the sun is to sort of fake a morning sunlight. I also used a graduated filter to desaturate the sand. And yes, I went into Photoshop and edited out all of the footsteps in the sand. Here's the final photo. I really like this one of Chelsea's photos, so we spread out a towel on the beach and I had Bella just lie on it and hold her feet up behind her, supporting her chin with one arm. The light angle was crucial for this shot, so I made sure it was coming from a super nice side lighting angle. The edit was pretty basic, just tried to raise the exposure a bit, make sure the skin tones are nice and accurate. I did my little sun trick again with the radial filter. I took the photo into Photoshop for some light dodge and burning as well, just to add a bit more shape and dimension to Bella's pose. I'm really happy with the final shot. For this next photo, I was inspired by this one of Chelsea's shots. First, I got Bella to jump in the water, and then I got her to stand up and just brush the water out of her hair with her hands. The edit was mostly the same as the last one, radio filter for the sunlight, raise the exposure, desaturate the yellows until the skin tones are natural, dodge and burn in Photoshop. Pretty simple. Then we hopped over to the rock pools and the tide pools for a bit of a different location. I directed Bella to sit on the rock, cross one leg over the other, lean back on her hand that's closest to the camera, and use the other hand to brush through her hair. The edit for this one was a little bit tricky because at this point the morning sun had risen up a bit and it was a lot harsher of a light. I really had to raise up the shadows in post and just tweak the tone curve to make sure I got the levels right. I also had to mess around with the skin tones a lot and also the blues. I had to raise the luminance and lower the saturation of the blues to bring out that beautiful ocean blue that you can see inside of Chelsea's shots. But I think the final shot was definitely worth it. I then took some of the techniques from Chelsea's work and I tried to make some of my own images with them. I got this one of Bella sitting in the rock pool using central framing and a higher angle to show the environment. I also got this one of Bella leaning on a rock at the edge of the pool using the same pose from earlier and just adjusting the exposure levels in the edit to compensate for the harshness of the morning sun. Let's take one last look at our final photos from the shoot. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really proud of those photos. I think that they look amazing and they match Chelsea's style pretty well. So I hope that you got some value from seeing my behind the scenes process. 
If there are photographers that you like and you want me to try and recreate their style, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to see who it is that you guys are following. And Chelsea, if you ever watch this, thanks so much for inspiring me. Thanks for taking great photos. I'm super keen to see what you get up to in the future. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you guys. There'll be videos coming in a week at least. There'll be many videos in the future. Don't worry. And uh, I can say that in the next video, I may or may not be getting lost inside of the bush. Bye. Oh, <laughs> you're still here. Well, uh, now would be a great time to tell you about some of my friends, the, uh, the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell. They're all sitting down there. They're just sort of below the video, above the description in that little bar there. They're great people. You should uh, get acquainted with them.